doing a little walking and hiking today out around Gladwin and just exploring have a little bit of time beautiful day and we're just gonna see what we can find there used to be some trails that ran through here it's all blocked off to vehicle traffic but so it was clear cut at some point Explore a little. Let the dog get out, get around, and sniff around. Who knows what we'll find? Pretty though. Hopefully, we won't find anything too crazy. Sounds like it's a pocket knife. I think the one thing about off-roading is that and I've heard a few of them talk about it on the different uh, YouTubes. Sometimes you just gotta leave enough time to just enjoy it. Oh my word, a bald eagle just flew by. That is so awesome. Wow. That thing is giant. <laughs> that was so cool. Wonder where his partner is. <laughs> I guess that's why. <laughs> right on cue, Lord. That was amazing. <laughs> See? I guess that's why you stop. Carolina's happy. Enjoying it. Huh. Oh, 
probably one of my closest moments. Amazing how big those are. All kinds of deer tracks through here. what else we can run into. I wonder if that's the other eagle there. Let's find out. Yeah, I don't think it is. If it is, it's a younger one. Quite as majestic as the bald eagle was, but let's head back. Drinking puddle water. Come on. Yeah, you know, the well, get out and enjoy. This is so much beauty out here. So. Hey everyone, getting some work done on the truck today. Getting ready to put in the bumper and lights and all that good stuff. Give you a little progress report. Starting to prime up the Relentless Fab low profile bumper. And um, my friend Matt is uh, cutting away at the front of the truck. I'll get you some pictures of that as well here in a minute. All right, we've got the front cut out here so we're gonna get ready to start uh, once I finish painting we'll fit it in and make some things happen yeah, actually. all right so everything got fully primed up so we're gonna put some black paint on there and the black cat is hanging out by the black paint Getting there. It's getting there. Coming together. Excited about all this being on there and being done. Well, good morning. It is day two of the build. We got a good amount done. Have a lot of things prepped and ready to go. So I am working on the final coat on the main part of the bumper. Just kind of getting the back side of it. The front side cured overnight. Again, the little side wings. Hitting those, cleaning up the back side of those. Then we'll go over here to the truck. Sitting up here. Gonna kind of, it's all cleaned up. Ready to go. We got a little trim work to do on stuff like this. We just gotta fit. Uh, and then we'll clean up all those edges. We'll trim this down a little bit. This is actually gonna shorten up quite a bit. A little more clearance. So yeah, coming together nicely. So good Lord willing, 
it will be done and ready to go today. So here are some of the other things doing with the bumper. I've got my light bar that fits on it. So that'll be on there. Got the wiring and all that ready to go. Then the fog lights that fit in there. Um, what I did do is I picked up some inexpensive uh, amber clip-on covers. So as hopefully they will hold up well. But uh, this way I can, you know, have those on for amber light or take them off and just use for straight LED light. So, so I have those. And then one of the other things, you'll see some of my not so handy work, is on the rear bumper, I'm putting in some chase lights. As you can see, I had a little mishap with the grinder and uh, kind of went a little high. <laughs> so I got to touch that up before I put the lights in there, but those are already wired. I have the wire run back. So this will, for the time being, should be most everything I'm going to wire. I'm thinking about putting some sort of light inside the bed of the truck, but I think I'll just use those little LED strip lights for that. So that's it for now. And uh, as we get the build, I'll give you some more updates. One thing I forgot to mention also was uh, the other upgrade I did was the differential, the axle vent here. Uh, as you see, it goes up here, and you can see the darker black one. It's not all covered in mud. Uh, going up and back, and that'll go all the way up, up top to where the fuel filler is. So uh, this is basically goes back a couple model years on these on the ZR2s. The other one was just right to the top of that metal piece attached to the differential. Uh, that's as high as it went up. Supposedly it doesn't let water in, but to me this was a better option. So that was the other thing. The front already goes up uh, to the top of the engine compartment. So I just did the same for the rear. So. Uh, Horsepower Obsessed has a video on it if you're a ZR2 person. And I can try to find the part number as well if you need it. But uh, yeah. So that is for this stuff. I'm doing a partial seat delete on the inside. So it's a little different when you don't have a hoist. Uh, so I'm just kind of doing this in the grass in my yard, getting this stuff all set. I was just buttoning up the wiring uh, for that rear bumper light. So, excited. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a, probably a little while before I do any other real mods. So, the budget's just not gonna allow for it, but excited for all the upgrades and uh, looking forward to uh, my trip to Drummond Island here real soon. I'll probably be some of the next videos you see. So, well, I'm uh, wearing up my chase lights on the bumper. I got my my helper in here. So we're uh, getting that taken care of. Hopefully we'll be testing them out in just a few minutes. Promised an update and we are done. Let you take a look. turned out awesome. 
I'm mad if you happen to watch the video. Thank you so much. I'll try to come back out after dark. Light it up. Kind of see. But uh, excited to get out on the trail and try things out. Well, I said that we would uh, show some lights. It's not really dark yet, it's dusk, but I didn't feel like coming out here when it's dark, dark. And, but we'll kick out all the lights for you. Just let you see kind of where things are at. Well, there they are, lit up. So apparently I, uh, I didn't set the truck on fire, so this is good. So, cool beans. Well, I think you see that I should have plenty of light on the trails now. So, I, you know what, really appreciate you joining and being a part of it today. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Appreciate you taking the time and being a part of this. And uh, hey, leave a comment. If you're in the Michigan area, love to get together and do some wheeling with you. So, hope you can stick around for the devotional. But God bless you, and we'll see you real soon out on the trails. Luke chapter 14, verse 28, says this. This is from the NLT. But don't begin until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish it? Otherwise, you might... Complete only the foundation before running out of money, and then everyone would laugh at you. They would say, there's the person who started that building and couldn't afford to finish it. Well, thankfully, I didn't run out of money and was able to finish mine. And even your best plan doesn't always go as smoothly as you thought. But counting the cost will help you avoid a lot of issues. We had mostly everything situated, taken care of. We ran into a few little things that we weren't expecting, but for the most part, it went pretty smooth as far as the installation went and all of the, having the right things there. What didn't go so smooth, what caused all the delays, was the paint. That one, I didn't have done ahead of time and I underestimated how long it would take to get that done. So the project that should have been done, maybe, you know, because we took our time, you know, maybe part of one day, you know, a day and then part of a second day, no problem, I think we could have had it done if that bumper was painted. But I don't have a garage. So I thought, oh, I'll just paint it while we're trimming away stuff. Not a good plan. That was not a good way to count that cost. As you see, the final product, it looks great. And again, so thankful for Matt for all his help and uh, opening up his garage so that this could get done. And without it, man, this whole experience would have been a mess. But someone who has experience working on cars and having the right equipment there to get the job done makes all the difference in the world but make sure when you and go to do something do your best to look at everything when i decided to walk with the lord 
that was it. I was going to walk with them. And I realized that there was going to be a cost. And that there was no going back. And here's the thing. When you, when you go to do something, take the time. Go through and try to figure out best you can. Do your research. Be ready. And when the time comes, you'll be able to get that project done. You'll be able to move forward into what it, God has for you. Whatever it is. But you know what? Count the cost. Don't just jump into it. Take your time, do your research, and understand what's required. So, thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for sticking around. And I know I've done things about counting the cost before, but you know what? There's so many applications for it. So God bless you, and hope to see you real soon out on the trails.